Okay, uh, I'll present uh, my work uh, uh, for the uh, Cytoscape uh, plugin for version 2.5 to 2.8. So, uh, as you all uh, agree, uh, Cytoscape has been the uh, leading platform for the network biology, and Cytoscape plugins enhance the functionality of the Cytoscape. And a lot of plugins have been developed to add uh, special functions to the Cytoscape. So, uh, as far as I checked, uh, last uh, month uh, there was 170 uh, plugins, and now it's uh, a bit close to uh, 200. So, uh, as, uh, as we get a lot of uh, plugins, there's several plug uh, problems uh, comes up. That is, which plugins uh, currently work? Uh, currently work. That's a problem for the uh, plugin users. And how can users find appropriate plugin for the, their specific purposes? That's also the problem for the users, plugin users. And what kind of major analysis can users do with their uh, data using a set of available plugins? What are not the hot areas of the network analysis? That's the problem, uh, probably the uh, problem for the uh, researchers uh, in general. And where are the origin countries of the plugin? Are the plugins developed or spread over the world? So probably that's a uh, problem for the uh, Cytoscape uh, developing community. So uh, to address uh, these uh, problems, what I did was to uh, write a travel guide to uh, Cytoscape plugins. And this is a uh, topic, uh, talk, topic of my talk today. So uh, I would like to start with my uh, first uh, problem, which plugins currently work. So uh, what I did was to test all the uh, plugins available. That was uh, 152 plugins. And first I did was to install the plugins to the appropriate version of the Cytoscape based on the um, web information. And roughly reading the variable publication, uh, if any of them uh, are prepared. Uh, roughly ch uh, checking relevant web page if there's any uh, prepared. And I just uh, checked the uh, basic functionality by following the tutorials and the sample data was uh, prepared, then I, I used them to test uh, whether the plugins are working or not. So uh, time spent for each plugin was uh, three minutes to uh, five hours. So yeah, um, if the sample data is prepared, then I think this is uh, relatively easy to uh, test, but if the sample data are not prepared, then it takes me a lot of time to, sometimes a lot of time to test them. So uh, I recommend you to prepare the sample data. Okay, so uh, this is a, a quick history. So the, I started uh, this work on May uh, last year and finished the check, uh, checking the plugin for the 135 plugins uh, on uh, July last year. And I f uh, wrote the first dra uh, draft of the uh, trouble guide, that's a, a review paper, and finished checking additional plugins on uh, April uh, this year. So total uh, 152 plugins. So that, that's the plugins that I'm going to talk about today. So uh, after the check, I may make the plugin developers first uh, if the plugin has any problems. So probably some of you who received uh, the email. And submission of the revised uh, travel guides was uh, May of this year. So uh, this was uh, what happened. So I printed out all the information that it was uh, initially uh, 2.4 inches on the uh, uh, last year, but uh, it became uh, 2.7 inches uh, on this year. So uh, first, uh, I, got, I want to go to the uh, plugin validation by quick check. So uh, this actually shows the uh, plugin uh, functional classification based on the old versions. And uh, this actually shows the uh, a number of the uh, plugins. So the blue one shows the uh, pass the quick check, and the yellow one shows the uh, problems of all found. And the red one shows that the plugin didn't, didn't work at all. <coughs> Thanks. So um, as you can see, most of the plugins uh, do work. But 20% uh, 12, 12, of them have uh, some critical parts that is the plugin doesn't work at all. And some missing functional found for uh, 7%. So uh, what I did was to, uh, I notified the plugin developers by the email. So um, if you, uh, maybe uh, some of you have uh, received an email like this, uh, dear uh, plugin developers, uh, we couldn't get your plugin uh, blah, blah, to work. Specifically, we had the following problems, so this uh, is not working. So uh, this, after this was sent, uh, we found that uh, many problems were due to ambiguities in the user documentation, not errors in the code. 
So, um, and furthermore, I think uh, the plugin developers are so, uh, you know, making an effort to solve uh, the problems uh, they have received. So the next next thing is to, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> uh, I, I, I know, classify the uh, Cytoscape plugins there uh, based on their function, so that uh, among a lot of available plugins, users can find appropriate plugin for their specific purpose using these tags. And we can find hot areas of network analysis by uh, counting frequency of these tags. And the travel guide was written considering uh, these tags. So the initially, the tag was, uh, all the tags were prepared by me, but it was subsequently uh, substituted uh, by the uh, Alex group. So uh, this is the uh, example of the uh, functional uh, tags. For example, uh, M code, uh, which uh, extracts the, the dense region of the network as a uh, functional tag like a clustering and graph analysis. So uh, based on uh, these tags, uh, I counted uh, the number of uh, tags that uh, each tag was uh, used. So this is shows uh, the distribution of the uh, tag usage. As, uh, as you notice, uh, there's a lots of uh, plugins which do the uh, network generation, which generate the network and, and the cytoscape, or uh, online uh, data import, which imports the data from the specific database, uh, uh, like a, a, a biogrid or et cetera. So uh, I, I assume that uh, this uh, network generation of online data import is uh, uh, probably a uh, very important uh, <coughs> field of the plugin development or network biology. And also, uh, there's a cluster, uh, graph analysis, uh, like uh, uh, doing a uh, analysis based on the graph theory, is also uh, important. So I think this is a hot, still hot, hot area of the uh, network biology. And as uh, you saw in the uh, previous talks, this uh, tag information is uh, available at the uh, uh, Cytoscape App Store. Okay, so um, the hot area of the uh, plugin development may be the online data import of a graph analysis. However, uh, we, if we you know, focus on the uh, uh, popularity in other way, that is uh, the number of the downloads of each plugin, then we'll get a slightly different result. So this actually shows the uh, plugin names, and this actually shows the uh, number of downloads within, within the year, and this shows the uh, total downloads. As you can see, the number one uh, plugin is the uh, uh, Bingo, uh, which extracts uh, the enriched uh, geo term from the uh, given uh, subnetwork of the, uh, ne uh, the whole graph. So it has uh, a lot of do downloads, and as far as I checked, uh, there's uh, uh, more than 500 citations uh, for this uh, plugin. So uh, <coughs> Bingo uh, may be a very uh, popular uh, or a very important uh, plugin uh, so far. So, um, based on uh, these uh, results, um, we have uh, written the uh, Cytos uh, travel guide to Cytoscape plugins, and you can, uh, I place uh, some of them on the uh, front desk, so uh, if you don't have it, and then uh, you can have it, and I hope this will be uh, useful to the uh, plugin users. And I will briefly uh, introduce you uh, some of the uh, content of the, uh, this paper. So, um, I uh, classified uh, the plugins um, uh, considering the plugin tags and uh, classified into uh, these categories like uh, network import, literature mining, and network inference, <coughs> etc. And uh, I don't have uh, much time to, uh, do, to uh, explain all the things, so uh, I'll just uh, show you uh, two uh, categories. For example, uh, topological clustering, uh, analysis and clusterings. And, uh, <coughs> Densely connected subgraphs uh, like this, not like this, uh, these uh, densely connected subgraphs often correspond to the function modules uh, like a protein complexes. So um, <coughs> various algorithms have been uh, developed to detect these, uh, such a dense subnet from the uh, molecular interaction network to predict, uh, predict uh, functional uh, module from the given network. So uh, <coughs> I have uh, uh, described uh, several uh, plugins which does uh, these tasks. And it was like um, MCode, MINE, and NEMO. I think these three are very um, uh, hot plugins in this field. And uh, functional enrichment and partial, 
partial spin, if the subnet of your uh, interest has a particular cellular functions, the annotation that the uh, gene ontology of the protein uh, particip participating in the subnet may be enriched for specific functions. And there's also uh, separate plugins uh, for that. Uh, the plugins are such as the Bingo and Krugo extract such enriched functions so that they may, can be used to predict functions that are given subnetworks. So the, uh, the, uh, the rest of the uh, plugins are uh, described uh, like this in the, uh, this uh, plugin guide. So uh, the finally, uh, our concern was uh, whether the uh, plugins developers are spread uh, over the world. So uh, as you can see, uh, the most of the plugins are developed by the uh, U, uh, university in the United States, but also uh, there's a number of plugins which are in, uh, developed in the Germany or Italy or the other uh, countries. So uh, I assume <laughs> that the plugins developers spread uh, over the world. So uh, just a uh, uh, summary. Uh, we checked all 152 plugins and found that 80% of them are working. And this number is uh, a, a, a little bit higher because the problem uh, is uh, currently uh, solved. And plugin tags, our system, and travel guide will efficiently guide you to appropriate plugins. And that is uh, what is, uh, this uh, travel guide is for. And importing genetic networks into various data and graph analysis will be the active field plugin development and or uh, network biology. And uh, plugin developers uh, seem to be spread over the world. And now, uh, this was a uh, uh, plug, uh, we, I talked about this for the uh, plugins for the size of version 2.5 to 2.8, but we believe that our travel guide would also guide plugin developers about uh, which plugins should be ported to apps for the Cytoscape 3.0. So uh, this is the uh, end of my talk, and this is uh, our members, uh, which was, was involved in creating the uh, uh, travel guide to the Cytoscape plugins. And I also acknowledge uh, people who uh, support me to, to uh, to uh, write the uh, travel guide. And of course, I would greatly thank to uh, uh, people in the Cytox community, especially for the uh, plugin developers. Thank you. Yes? Does your travel guide explicitly call out the ones that don't work, or does it include the ones that do work? Uh, it just it includes the ones that uh, do work. And that, that plugin doesn't work, mean, doesn't mean that it doesn't work for every place. Uh, I first uh, tested with the uh, Windows. If it didn't work, then I tested with the uh, Mac. And if it didn't work, then I tested with uh, Linux. Yeah, so sometimes it takes uh, uh, actually five hours to, <laughs> whether it's, to find whether it's working or not. And did you include a rating of like how compared to previous to the five hours and maybe even some kind of yeah, did you <laughs> ramp up time rating involved with that? Well, uh, actually, I didn't. Uh, you know, I did uh, put the times on it, but uh, I uh, commented each plugin whether uh, it, it was not working on this uh, in this, uh, <coughs> this particular function uh, or something like that. I also uh, prepared a uh, plugin table which I use for the plugin check. So if you guys uh, want to know uh, what uh, which plugins uh, you are searching for, then I can uh, talk with you uh, after this uh, session.